I want to show you my uh, spark gap generator transmitter. It's super easy. Um, let me show you how it works and then show you that it works first. So I have a little switch right here. I'll show you how to make that. I have a, a radio turned on AM radio. Morse code. And just so you can see, if I turn that off, it still buzzes, but you don't hear the same thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's finicky. Okay, so you can see the spark. That's where it's called a spark gap generator. So let me show you how it works. Batteries right here. Uh, one of the wires goes over here to my switch. When I push that, I'm gonna show you how to make this paperclip switch. Uh, it turns on. Then the other wire goes over to this thing. And you'll notice this is a little paper clip that is uh, hanging in the air and it's in front of this coil of wire, but it's touching this. So in this position, there's a complete circuit from here to the battery if I push that down. But when I do that, this becomes an electromagnet and it pulls this paper clip towards it and then it doesn't touch that post. So it turns off. And when it turns off, there's no magnet and it goes back. So this makes the buzzing sound where it turns on and off. That's not what makes a transmitter though. See, it still works. What makes a transmitter is the spark. Because when you have a coil of wire and a changing current, which is what I have when I turn it off, I get a very high voltage. That high voltage makes a large electric field in the gap, which produces a spark. That spark is a very electrically violent event that produces both light and electromagnetic radiation on a wide range of frequencies. That's one of the bad things about a spark gap generator. So pretty easy to build. I took this coil of wire from something, but you could make one on your own, put an iron core in there to make it stronger, and then just kind of play with this until you can get this just to barely move away. It's kind of fun. It's an easy build. Now, another thing, I put this on a cork board uh, and I use paper clips because, you know, MacGyver. And I like these metal thumbtacks because you can put a wire over the paper clip and then just push it down to connect it. And I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let me show you how to make this switch because there's nothing super magic about it, but there's something kind of useful. I had a piece of tape. Where did my piece of tape go? You do need a piece of tape. So the idea is how do I make these two things kind of connect? The first thing you're gonna do is to take a paper clip and bend it up like that, like that. And then this is going to be my push down part. And what I wanna do is when it pushes down to connect to this. So if I just put this on top of that and connect wires, then they're already touching. So I don't want them to touch. So what I'm gonna do is to take a piece of tape over that and then put this other paper clip on top of the tape and then when i push this down it makes contact and it turns it on and off and then i get my my switch like i have over here which is not working again something's messed up it's it's okay it's not a perfect one there you go and there's your spark gap generator very cool. You got to know Morse code though, which I don't.